Welcome to DPV technology. In this video, we will learn how to send data to a website using ESP8266. We will send data to thingspeak.com website. So let's get started. You can buy all types of electronic components, modules, sensors at base price from www.dpvtechnology.com. To read data from a website or to write data to a website, the website must allow me to write data in their database or they must allow me to read data from their database. All these things are done by API key or API. That means the website will give me some codes named as API or simply we can say API key. If we have that API key, the website will allow me to read or write data to their database. There is a website called thingspeak.com that is specially designed for IoT or Internet of Things. By using their API key, we can easily send data to their website and also read data from their website. Here is our circuit diagram. You can download it from the link given in the description of this video. So here we can see this is the VCC pin that is connected to 3.3 volt pin of Arduino. Then this is the CSPD pin that is also connected to 3.3 volt pin of Arduino. Then this is the ground pin which is connected to ground pin of Arduino. Then here is the so here is the RX pin that is connected to pin number 3 of the Arduino. And this is the TX pin that is connected to pin number 2 of the Arduino. So let's go to the connections now. So here is our connection. So this is the this first one is the RX pin that is connected to pin number 3 of the Arduino. This is the VCC pin that is connected to 3.3 volt pin of Arduino. Then uh, this was the CSPD pin that is connected to also 3.3 volt of Arduino. And this is the TX pin that is connected to pin number 2 of the Arduino. And this is the ground pin that is connected to ground pin of Arduino. Now connect your Arduino board to your PC through your Arduino USB cable. First, we have to go to thingspeak.com. So type thingspeak.com. So here we can see IoT analysis. So go to here. Here we have to first create an account. So go to sign up, fill up the required fields. After signing up, you will be redirected to this space. Now we have to create a new channel. So click on new channel. Now here we have to provide a name. Suppose we will give the name of our channel ESP8266 channel. Then write some description about your channel. So suppose I will write ESP8266 for example. Then we have to create fields. Fields are required to send the data from our sensor. Suppose we send the temperature value through ESP, then we have to create one field. Again, if you want to send the temperature and humidity value to the ThingSpeak server, then we have to create two fields. One field for store the temperature value to send the temperature value and the second field for send humidity value. In this example, we will send random number to this field. So we will create only one field named as random number. After that, we have to click on this save channel. So now here we can see this is the channel name and this is the channel description. And here is our channel ID. They will provide a unique ID to us. And uh, access is now private. We can also set it to public. Now only I can view this. That is why see here, here is now private. So after that, uh, this is the field. Uh, a graph will be plotted when we will send a random number to this uh, through ESP8266 to this uh, ThingSpeak server. Now we have to go to this API key section to get the API key. So click on API keys. These keys are required to read and write data on Th ThingSpeak server. So here we can see there are two API key. This is write API key to write data to 
ThingSpeak server and uh, he, here is the read API key to read data from ThingSpeak server. So we will use this write API key to write data to send a uh, random number to their server. So copy and paste it on your notepad. Now open your Arduino IDE and copy and paste the code. The link of the code is given in the description of this video. So here is the API name that you have to save. Here is your active internet connection Wi-Fi name. In our case, we have TP-Link. So here TP-Link 4E66. You have to write your own Wi-Fi router name. Then this is your password, internet password. Then here is the API key that we have got in the ThingSpeak website. So here, this one, this one. You have to copy and paste your own code there. Now, go to here, INT get sensor data. Here, we are generating a random number and returning that random number to thingspeak.com. So, if you are using another sensor, write your own code here and return the sensor value in this function everything will be same only here you have to modify the code here you have to get the value and then return that value here so this will send this value to this url here we can see and through this url your sensor data will be uploaded to the thingspeak.com now upload this code so here we can see done uploading now we have to go to our thingspeak.com so now go to private view so here we can see this is the first random number that is sending from our arduino and so you can see the second number here so so this is the graph so here we can see two entries so it it takes some time we have to wait for the next entry so we can see this is third entry so it will be up, updated soon so here we can see three Does Arduino is generating random number and it is sending through our ESP8266 to the internet that means to this thingspeak.com server. You can buy all types of electronic components, modules, sensors at base price from www.dpvtechnology.com. Thanks for watching.